Okay, so this is Mr. Baglio, and I apologize for any background noise, but I am going to show you how to create an XY scatter plot for the Catapult Lab and for any lab where you have two manipulate variables. First, you find Microsoft Excel on your computer, and you open up a new workbook window, which you have right here. And for this particular lab, we're going to make the first column mass, and we're going to say grams. The second one, these are whatever angles you shoot it at. So let's say you shot it at 20 degrees, so 20, and to get the degrees is option K. And then the next one, let's say 45 degrees. And for most groups, that's all you need is two angles. So you can always add another angle, but you just do it the same way we just did. And then you enter the masses. So let's say you did three trials of each angle with a penny. The penny was 2.5 grams. You enter it, and then see this little blue thing at the corner? If you drag it in, that's called the fill handle. Whatever you drag it down, it'll fill it with the same thing that was in the first. And this is 5 grams. Let's do three trials of 5 grams. And then let's say for 20 degrees, it went 53. And then it went 50. And then it went 54 centimeters. And then this is a little bit heavier, so this one, 32, <laughs> 20, don't shush to the teachers, and 29, okay, for 45 everything went a little further, so we'll call it 85, 84, and 83, and then the heavier ones went 76, 79, and 70, for a little outline, okay, there's our data. Now we select all the boxes, including the top one, and we go to Charts, Scatter, Marked Scatter, boom, and there's there you have it. There's your scatter plot. Now let's say you want to change some things. Granted, this is on Excel 2011, so it might be a little different from others. Go to Chart Layout, the Chart Title, select it, say Catapult Data. Then we want the axis titles. Horizontal is, what was that? Grams. Ah. And then the vertical is over here. Um, vertical title is distance. That looks a little bit weird. Centimeters. Let's, 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 not, let's not do the most. Let's not do the. There we go. Rotated title. And then you can make it big. Sorry. Big. Get a diagonal arrow. And the other thing that was awesome on here is you can go to format and it had some pre made ones. I found that this one right here in the middle, layout three makes it look awesome. And it adds some of these lines in there. These are sort of trend lines that show this is the trend for all the 45 degree angle shots and this is for all the 20 degree angle shots. What you can also do is double click that line, change the color so it matches the color of the dots. So that could be a red line. And this. Okay. Ms. Barrow, are we allowed to do this? Yes. Well, I wouldn't be showing you if you weren't allowed to. Do it. And then this is blue. Okay, and then boom. Now right click on this and you could say, sorry, right click over here on chart area, save this picture, save it to the desktop. And then it's very easy to email, print out, and there it is the untitled ping file, which is this graph. Can we drop it to you? We could, you could if you want. It's better if it's part of a whole lab. But is that the final product? And that is the final product of that. That you have both the table and the graph. If we write the whole um, lab on our computer, could we drop it to you? Yes. Awesome. All right, and this is where our video is going to end. I hope this was helpful. Bye.